Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 28th of 2022, well, it is titled Seven Years of Halley Dust. So what do we see here? Well, first of all, we're talking about Halley's Comet, which was the first uh, first comet known to be periodic and that it came back. And that was actually predicted by Edmund Halley that this comet would return because its orbit matched the orbits of other comets that had returned in the past about every 75 years. And he made the prediction that it would then again return. And he unfortunately, he died before seeing that prediction come true. But the comet has been since been named in his honor. Now, when comets travel through the solar system, they leave debris behind. Material is vaporized off of the comet and then is left behind and follows, continues to follow the comet's orbit through space. When Earth passes through the orbit of that comet, as it does with Comet Halley twice during the year in May and in October, then we will see a meteor shower. So we see a meteor shower in May associated with Halley's Comet and again one in October. The October one is called the or Orionids and that is because they appear to radiate from the constellation of Orion which you can see just above the horizon here. If you trace all of those stars uh, those meteors back and trace them back to a point which we call the radiant point it'll be just a little bit above and to the left of the reddish orange star known as a Betelgeuse in Orion. Now, they appear to radiate from a point because they are all traveling in the same orbit through space. So they're all traveling together and they will appear by perspective to converge off in the distance to the radiant point, as we see in our image here. Now, this is not just one year worth of uh, meteors. This is actually taken over the course of about seven years from 2015 to 2022 measuring several dozen bright meteors that were visible during those times. Now we do see Orion uh, present there and we can see a few other objects in the sky uh, as well. Up and to the right of Orion we can see the Pleiades star cluster in the blue and then diagonally continuing upward and to the right we can see the Andromeda galaxy up and towards the closer to the right edge of the image. Diagonally through the middle of the image, in fact, the meteors seem to radiate from part of our Milky Way galaxy. And we see that stretching diagonally here. And one other a common object seen, we can actually see the Big Dipper up towards the upper left hand side. You can see the seven bright stars making up the Big Dipper, which is part of the constellation of Ursa Major or the larger bear. So here was a chance if you saw any of the meteors just uh, about a week ago on October 21st when it reached its maximum uh, maximum number of meteors that would have been visible. Now while it's caused by Halley's Comet Halley's Comet visits only every 75 years and last year in 1986. So it is just in the next year or two getting to the outermost portion of its orbit will it will turn around and start heading back toward the inner solar system. So while comets zip through the inner solar system because of the gravity of the sun pulling them and moving them faster and faster when they are on the far edge of their orbit they move extremely slow. So while Halley's Comet has a 75 year orbit, it'll only spend a year or so in the inner portion of the solar system. And most of the rest of that time is spent out in the depths of the solar system. So that was our picture of the day for October 28th of 2022. It was titled Seven Years of Halley Dust. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a dark and spooky nebula. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.